Hey everyone. So I am just sitting in the car. Brought my mom to the nail salon. So we're just waiting on her. And then we're going to go and just run some errands. I need to get some tape so that I can finish wrapping gifts because um, Sefton is obsessed with tape and he's always using up all the tape in the house. So I need to buy some tape and what else? And that's it, just need to get some tape, wrap the rest of the presents. I'm gonna go to the grocery store tomorrow. We decided that for Christmas dinner, we're gonna do seafood. We're gonna do scallops and some sides yeah so the rest of the day we're just going to be wrapping and kind of getting things organized uh for christmas and then tomorrow i'm going to the gym again i did three training sessions this week y'all and i feel amazing like i feel so good i finally feel like not like myself but i feel like I'm getting my groove back. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm getting in the groove of working out again. Coming off of not like working out hardcore for nine months was the biggest challenge for me. And so here we are a month later and I'm just now feeling like, okay, now I'm starting to, you know, get into a rhythm and uh, I'm starting to feel like I'm seeing some progress. So yeah, I'm happy about that. And um, so yeah, I do have a session tomorrow. So we'll do that and then go to the grocery store and pick up everything that we need for Christmas dinner. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this Christmas. It's PJ's first Christmas. Obviously, he has no idea that it's Christmas. He doesn't even know what Christmas is, but we're still excited. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go and I will probably check in with you guys tomorrow back at the gym and then we'll go to the grocery store and pick up groceries for Christmas dinner. Just leaving the gym. Getting ready to run to Whole Foods because I wanna make a charcuterie board for Sefton or just for the family um, for Christmas. And I wanna make one that is like a Christmas tree. I saw it on Pinterest and it looked really cute and it looked really simple. Um, so I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and pick up a few things to make that. We're not having a lot of people over anyway. It's just immediate family, so like, my parents, PK, the kids, and that's it. So, yeah, it won't be a lot of people um, at the house, but I thought it would be something fun that I could do with Sefton. And then I need to pick up groceries for Christmas dinner. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday we're doing scallops for Christmas. So I need to do that as well, but I think I'll hold off on that until tomorrow. So yeah, I am gonna go and pick up these items from Whole Foods and then I'll check back in with you guys once we get to the house. I have a hair appointment later today too. So I don't know if I'll check back in after my hair appointment or before, but either way, when I um, check back in with you guys, <clears throat> I'll show you guys the charcuterie board. All right, bye. This is the Christmas tree charcuterie board that I'm gonna attempt to make. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, I got some pretzel sticks, some pecans, um, I got some raspberries, I got some cherries because they were out of uh, red grapes, so. I just got some cherries instead. And then I got a big thing of green grapes. I got some Kobe Jack cubed cheese. And I got some Mount Cheddar cubed cheese. I was looking for Pepper Jack, but they didn't have 
pepper jack at Whole Foods so there's that and then I got these dark and white chocolate peppermint bark snowflakes I thought that this would be cute to add to the board for like a little tree topper and some little decorations around so that's what I'm going to try to do here now and then I will come back and show you guys the finished product all right guys so it is Christmas Eve and I just got to Whole Foods um it's not even nine o'clock I wanted to get here like super early so that I can get our grocery shopping done so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to run in here get these groceries and get back home so that I can just relax for the rest of the day um I did stop and get coffee because I just was trying to get out the house so fast I didn't even make coffee this morning so yeah and thank you to my sweet 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 friend Tammy for gifting me a Starbucks gift card that was such a sweet sweet surprise from you Tammy thank you so much like you're the best Tammy has been like on this journey with me since the beginning I'm gonna take a few more sips of this coffee before I go in here because I need some caffeine and then we're gonna get back home um, I didn't do the charcuterie board yesterday for you guys um, because I'm gonna do it today um, on Christmas Eve when like everybody's gonna be over so we'll do that today plus I forgot to get the rosemary and you need rosemary for like the garnishment so yeah that's what we're up to today and i'll check in with you guys uh when i get back home oh i got my hair done yesterday too uh, i mentioned that so all right bye all right everyone so i am back home now and i'm just getting ready to put my little christmas tree charcuterie board together um this is my inspo here if you guys can see this is the inspiration we're not doing any meat on the board um a i couldn't find any turkey pepperonis and b we don't eat pork so no prosciutto for us um or regular pepperoni so we're just gonna make this like a fruit and cheese type of uh, board so I'm gonna use this very 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 large board that I got from home goods it's massive I have all of my supplies here all the fruit has been washed and dried so I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling and then I'll just let you guys watch
all right guys so this is my christmas charcuterie board i'm not mad at it i mean this is my first time ever doing a board before so i think i did pretty good um i was a little confused as to if i wanted to do the star on this side or on this side i don't know i like the chocolate side better especially up here with the pecans so i don't know what do you guys think i think it's cute i mean it looks like a christmas tree right i think so i mean i could do a little bit better with my greenery here push that in a little bit i got too much sticking out but i'm pleased with it i think it's super cute and it's so fun so there's the picture and there's mine I think it's cute all right everyone so that's it we did it 12 days of vlogmas it was so 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 much fun i thoroughly enjoyed doing vlogmas especially this way um like i said we'll definitely be doing it again next year i'll probably do 12 days again just because it was so nice just not having that pressure of having to have a vlog up every single day but who knows um but i just want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel for watching and engaging and all your sweet comments and just all the love that you guys have shown my channel i appreciate you guys so 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 much so thank you from the bottom of my heart i hope you all have a very very merry christmas and a happy holiday i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog tomorrow for christmas but if i do um i will definitely share it with you all so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let Mr. Seth then close out this final Vlogmas. Again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. Merry Christmas. Okay, today, this is the last day of the Vlogmas. So, we're doing tw day 12. Ooh, the kids up. Oh, yeah. So let's open it. Okay. God. Oh, Hold on, let me see what it say. It is forbidden a uh, fig. Forbidden fig. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. It smells sweet, but I like the texture. So that's the and of the vlog this. So this is the last one. So subscribe and like and press the bell button and comment down below what what you think about this. Merry Christmas. Bye.